So 343 just had a retrospect about Halo 4 and there there was a part that really intrigued me where they talked about the multiplayer and campaign component together. They basically wanted to make the multiplayer more approachable for campaign players and they wanted to make the campaign for being more approachable for multiplayer players. This statement really shocked me because I was expecting for something to be completely different and I want to give 343 some of my advice of what they should do. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. I tried out the Community Forge maps free for all thingy and I did pretty well on this map which is Assault and this was my first attempt too so I think it went fine. I know it's not the best gameplay ever but I don't have the best internet connection and I don't wear any sort of headsets. I just rely everything on my radar, controller, and my common sense from playing a lot of first person shooters. Halo 4 is a great game even though I'm aware of all those Halo 2 slash 3 elitists that just constantly bash this game because I mean the game's multiplayer because it's not those two games with better graphics and new maps but for what Halo 4 multiplayer is I will say that I'm very happy with it. We're getting a lot of content and they're starting to implement the more competitive side of this game so if you prefer to play Halo at a competitive level I think it will start to be you know more friendly towards that feel and I really think this is probably like the most fast paced Halo game I've played since Halo 1 and I really love it there's really nothing um, wrong I can say now I mean back then I kinda didn't like the bolt shot but now they fixed it and I really love the game's multiplayer man I really think it's my top three favorite Halo multiplayer experience ever if I really think about it. Now that's just multiplayer talk, campaign is next and I cannot believe what 343 said from their panel. I really do believe that both single player and multiplayer games really require different mindsets whether you play the game or you're crafting it. And let's face it people, um, when I play a game, you know, any sort of game, single player or multiplayer game, if the, if a certain game has one of those modes or both modes, I'm not gonna have that same mindset. So playing in Halo single player is not the same as playing multiplayer, and I could probably put more games in the same sentence and it would end up being a similar result, just like Halo. If you ask me, I feel like campaign needs to cater its own audience, but raise the standards even higher. What does that mean? It means to, it means to challenge your audience and make them relearn how they play Halo. One of the things I loved about Halo 2 was it really did retaught a lot of the Halo 1 players to play the game differently compared to Halo 1, but still maintain maintaining sorry, maintaining of all the roots of what makes Halo Halo. This is probably relevant for people who play the game on heroic or legendary. We all know how hard the first level was or how painful the jackal snipers were on legendary, and I feel like that was the step to the right direction. I've always loved the combat aspect of Halo and you know Halo has some of like the most funnest AI AIs to fight so I don't really feel like why they don't really make it more challenging. Halo Reach really perfected this. I literally felt like I was relearning Halo again since Halo 2 but the game was much more fair and more funner than I you know expected so I enjoyed the campaign so much that I have over a hundred hours on the campaign because I loved playing it and I still think about wanting to go back and play it even more. I personally prefer it over Halo 4's campaign because well it's just the better campaign overall. I mean Halo 4's campaign it was pretty good but I just feel like it had some padding, you know, like quick time events or just uninspired vehicle segments like the ghost segment on the Forerunner, even though I love that map a lot. Um, I could give you some more examples like the mech part of Infinity where it felt kind of average too. If you think about it, it's kind of like a tutorial stage. It's just a bunch of Covenant and corridors and they can't even harm you that well so it's easy mode. Even on Legendary, it doesn't really like get hard or challenging until you get outside really. Right now, I'm currently working on another Halo related video and I don't want to give out too much information. But if I can simply give a very good criticism to 343, they need to use more quote unquote video game common sense. For example, do you think hardcore campaign players are going 
are going to want to play a campaign that isn't as good, challenging, stimulating, or deep as the previous Halo game, or do they want to play a game that will make them have all of those moments I've stated, but also being learned and educated to become a better Halo player from a campaign standpoint. Also, I feel like the multiplayer component is so much more arcadey than the campaign, so I don't know what they were, you know, talking about when they were trying to appeal the multiplayer players with the campaign. I also don't understand um, why they think Halo, you know, has a high learning curve. It really doesn't. I mean, Halo's a freaking mainstream game. In a lot of mainstream games, to be honest, they don't really, like, require much learning curve compared to, like, cult games. I mean, there's a reason why cult games, you know, are cult. They appeal to a certain audience because the majority of the masses, they, you know, don't find it appealing because of whatever reasons. Maybe the game is too hard, the game is too confusing, the game, you know, wants you to know this, wants you to know that before you can really enjoy it. I mean, the list can goes on. I mean, can go on, folks. So, there you go, and I can't really explain much about, you know, uh, of how I should feel the campaign should be in, you know, very deep sense, but you're gonna have to wait on this next vi next Halo video I'm working on. I hope it'll be a good message for Halo 5's campaign, and that's it, people. I'm out.